Today, you will learn how to make LB agar plates. These plates are used as a rich culture media because its nutrients allow organisms from the invisible world to grow. For instance, if you would like to see what invisible organisms are growing on a tree leaf, start by swapping the leaf with a sterilized Q-tip. Then, swab the Q-tip gently on top of the solidified LB agar plate. That plate is then incubated upside down to prevent condensation at either room temperature for three days or in a 37 degree incubator for one day. After incubation, you can expect to see bacterial or fungal colonies growing on your plates. To make your own LB agar plates, use a beaker of any size or shape as long as this heat proof and has more than enough space. We will use a 600 milliliter beaker to hold 250 milliliters of our solution. Next, you will need to mix the following ingredients. These ingredients are yeast extract, tryptone, sodium chloride, granulated agar, and DI water. Cover the foil to prevent your solution from boiling over. If you have autoclave tape, you can place the tape on the foil beaker to indicate when the solution has been sterilized. We'll be using a hot plate and a pressure cooker as a heat source because it can reach temperatures high enough for sterilization. Add a small amount of water to the pressure cooker's body. Next, into the cooking rack and then your beaker. Make sure that the vent pipe is clear. Close the pressure cooker and set the timer to 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the agar solution will be sterilized. Remember to always use heat gloves when removing your beaker from the pressure cooker. Once the solution is cold to the touch, antibiotics can also be added at this time. Like your Bunsen burner in preparation of pouring plates. Remove sterile plates from your sleeve with lids attached. With the other hand, lift lid and quickly pour cooled agar solution into each plate. If there are any air bubbles on your plate, quickly lift lid again and use flame from Bunsen burner to pop them. When you are done, let plates sit overnight to solidify. Now they can be stored in the cold room for future use. Congratulations! You now have new LB agar plates for all of your microbial experiments. As long as they are kept sterile, these plates can last you up to several months. Enjoy!